Module 1. Cognitive behavior therapy involves helping patients examine their cognitions, behaviors, and emotions. Specifically, we are helping to identify patients' cognitions, which could include thoughts, beliefs, or memories. Their behaviors, which could include maladaptive behavior, such as substance abuse, social isolation, avoidance, and their emotions, such as depression, anxiety, sadness, or anger. In addition to thoughts, behaviors, and emotions, or mood, we are examining the patient's physiological responses in their body, and of course identifying what is occurring in their environment, which may be triggering the patient's symptoms. Let's examine how these variables may influence a patient's experience of depression. Along with depression often comes negative thoughts. For example, there is no point which may lead to decreased activity or avoidance of an activity or social isolation, which may also affect how one's body feels, for example, lethargic, and which may all be associated with low mood. In the case of panic disorder, we also see the interrelationship between one's physiological sensations of anxiety, worried thoughts, for example, what if something bad occurs and I can't cope, and behavioral avoidance. It can be extremely helpful to illustrate for your patients how their symptoms interact with each other, as this will help them understand how treatment interventions will target particular symptom clusters. Broadly speaking, cognitive therapy involves treatments that modify faulty, unhelpful thoughts, beliefs, or perceptions. And behavior therapy involves treatments that help to modify unhelpful behaviors.